Hey, what's up guys? So, I'm going to talk a little bit about some uh, Bitcoin, uh, cryptocurrency technical analysis kind of ish. Not really. I'm not a financial advisor. I am, I am retail by all definitions. So, you know, take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. I released a video last week that talked briefly, well, kind of not briefly, but enough about... Um, about a pattern that I spotted where it started to look a little bit like Bitcoin was repeating a pattern that we'd seen again, you know, before in the past, right? So here's my two cents on this pattern. Um, it definitely looks like we are doing this pattern. And I guess in some respects, the pattern was repeated. It is definitely, so, there's something going on because the price action on Bitcoin has been really good lately and it's pushing up the entire market it's pretty significant but the question is is like a lot of people are like all right it's time to short i say i'm i'm cautious of uh, anyone doing anything like that because this pattern that we're seeing right here okay so what's what makes this pattern different from this this right here now keep in mind this pattern right here has only played out three times in the history, oops, I made a, uh, a serious face, um, has only played out maybe three times in the history of Bitcoin. All right. So what we're looking at here, okay, we got one, two, and then three, which was the bull market of 2013, right? So what is the pattern exactly? So... Um, anytime you see the stochastic RSI pinned and overbought, everybody will be like, hey man, hey man, overbought is like serious business. It means it's coming right back down, right? Because it's like up there, like you can't sustain it, you know, it doesn't have enough power level. But my observation is that if it gets into overbought, if it gets into this thing where the, uh, the blue and the orange lines line up and it doesn't immediately result in a dump, in other words, the dump doesn't immediately happen then you're in plan a different you know that that that's plan a but if plan a doesn't play out you end up with plan b right now most of the time the, the you know the action goes like this it goes straight it just sort of stabs right through and then that usually means that like you know that's that, that means unless you can get another cross again to confirm some upward movement you, you you usually you're usually on your way down right like that means okay guys this is pretty fucked we gotta wait until it crosses again and then we can confirm some kind of upwards trajectory All right and then depending on the price action versus like how quickly it gets into overbought or I mean oversold um you can determine like okay you know like if if very little price action and it um if there's very little price action and it moves very in a very far in the stochastic then that means that it's definitely going in that direction or or it's um there's resistance in that direction in other words uh it's sort of like the other way around so like if it moves a tiny bit here and it moved say if it moved from here to here then you'd know holy shit there's a lot of upwards um trajectory still to go so like i i, I guess i'm explaining that poorly but it it bas basically what it just means is that uh that you can use this to sort of determine whether you know what the dire the direction of the market in general as things are actually happening well i guess you know i guess well duh right but so if it does if these two mingle and they get they line up and they mingle at like a hundred percent or it doesn't even have to be a hundred percent like anywhere actually it can, sometimes this i guess this can kind of happen in other places as well if they mingle and they start going sideways together, kind of like this, where they're sort of like, you know, and it didn't result in an immediate dump, then it plays this out. And what this is right here is the first time the, um, this is the first time after the last bear market, this was, this is the official end of the bear market or a consolidation. This was this was the bear market ending. This is consolidation. This was the end of consolidation. This was you know the sucker's rally, right? And then this is where the sucker's rally ended and it became a this is obviously going the fuck up kind of a situation, right? 
because even people who bought all the way at the very top of this are now in you know we're we're now in the green or at least seeing a little bit of green you're seeing a little bit of hope you know what i mean the hopium starts getting really strong and then like and then the upwards momentum was really strong and you'll notice that like you'll notice that like it dumped like a tiny bit compared to the you know relatively speaking and it went all the way back down into oversold <laughs> And then it crossed on the way back up again. Like a cross like this where it's just like that much upwards is pretty serious business, right? And so like at this point we knew everything was, was pretty much, uh, you know, th at that point it's pretty obvious. It's definitely a fucking bull run at that point, right? So that's what this looked like. Well, this is what it looks like right now and it looks like it's playing out the same thing. Now, this isn't a small deal. This isn't some like regular little thing. Check this out. Look how long this played out. One month, uh, one week, two weeks, three weeks. One weeks, two, two weeks, three weeks, four, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks, eight weeks, nine weeks. Right? And how far are we in right now? One, two, three, four, five. So we can be going six, seven, eight, nine. Somewhere in April, we'll we'll probably get a chance to see what this part of it, what you know, what this story is going to be. Is there going to be a massive? Is there going to be massive price action where it dumps down hard, or does the market now have enough hopium to sustain itself while the stochastic gets all the way into oversold territory, and the price action barely dumps at all? Right. I'm thinking that we're going to see 6K or at least close to it. I'm thinking Bitcoin. Bitcoin's testing this shit. I don't know. Just by going off of this, we're going to be here for another three weeks, probably, uh, playing this pattern out. That's a that's a long time. That, I mean, that's that's pretty much this. This is only so now. This has only officially happened twice, three times technically, if you want to count the bull run of 2013. But this has only happened. This is the third time this has ever happened, and it marks the end. So in other words, we, I guess we went through consolidation really quickly, and I guess, uh, I guess the bear market ended here, right? I don't really believe it. I'm in denial. Maybe I'm in denial, but at this point, I don't really care. I don't really give a shit. If uh, you know what I mean, like, I just, I just wanted to, I just want to know what's going on. Like, I'm kind of past the point of getting emotional about this shit. Just fucking get on with it. So that I can, you know, so that I can stop having to worry about it. Because it's a little easier to deal with a bull market than it is to deal with a bear market. And I, I learned a lot. I mean, I learned a lot during this entire experience. And I'll tell you right now. Looking at the Bitcoin monthly chart, check this out. So, this pattern here, the bear market for Bitcoin in uh, 2018, was totally different from the bear market in, in 20, uh, 2015. All right. I guess it was 2014 or yeah, it was 2015. Uh, this this came down to an abrupt end, you know, and, and just sat there, and then made like a bullish cross, and that's the bullish cross. We're probably seeing this bullish cross right here. I mean, if if we're seeing any continuity here at all whatsoever, and we're still over here. <laughs> Which is entirely possible, because look, these candles are pretty much the same size at this point in time. And then we're just going to be seeing a bunch of red, and then it makes a um, a bearish cross right here. During this bearish cross was when the bear market ended, right there, and that was capitulation. So this was capitulation, and this looks like it's like rearing up for a fucking bull run. That wasn't the case back then. Like, uh, at this point in time, people were... The sentiment must have been fairly different at this point in time because right now, if this blue line touches this, we could very well be heading towards full fucking bull market, like straight up Bitcoin's higher highs or whatever, like trying to break through 6K kind of bull market territory, right? And maybe maybe since 6K has so much resistance, it'll stop at 6K, like it won't actually. Maybe maybe this bull maybe this is a mini bull run. You know what I mean? 
where it gets back up to 6k you know uh hits that really hard and then it dives down for uh you know to for another consolidation period maybe maybe we're see maybe the pattern's going to change i mean it is a pretty different situation here in this case it dumped everyone thought it was dead and then it slowly built up in this case it's like dumped uh it's still dying everybody guess still thinks it's alive still think oh they're slowly st and then it finally makes a cross and it just so happens that the cross is damn right like right at the bottom right at the point at the lowest uh, price action like in this area and that's where the cross actually happens and now it's already scooting up like it's getting ready for um you know in three weeks this could easily be in the 30 you know 30 range 30 percent range on the stochastic right so like and and if you look at other coins litecoin litecoin is just like like well we you know litecoin's like we um tron's too young xrp is too young a lot of these coins are too young to actually have any uh eos I, uh, eos is f freaking the fuck out eos looks like it's already going total bull mode like that's one of the interesting things on the monthly stochastic one of the indicators that you're in a bull market is that it just stays in oversold <laughs> the entire time and then it, at the very end of the you know once that happens it, it dips down out of this and then you're you're not in that pattern anymore like it just okay boom now you're in oversold <laughs> immediately it just there's no in between here that's not necessarily the case with Litecoin, though, because like Litecoin looks like it can hang hang out. You know, it could be in a pretty significant um, bull market or even sideways consolidation while it's still. So I guess every coin is going to have its own patterns because every coin has its own enthusiast, right? So we'll have different bots, we'll have different humans, right? Bitcoin is the only one that everyone's really watching because we all kind of, you know, it, it gives us some uh, a better base of uh, a point of reference, right? So. Um, I don't know. Uh, as far as I can tell right now, just looking at the pattern that's playing out at the moment, it, I mean, if it if this is what's playing out, because it looks like that's what it's doing, it's doing the same thing. We could have another three or four weeks of this green candle type shit, just going up. Three weeks, boom, another th boom, three. Week two, it'll be up here, and then week three, it's gonna be like here somewhere, and then it's just gonna be like a Bart Simpson, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? But um, everything is going to be determined by this, like whether or not we're going to be in an actual, you know, I mean, this is a bull, this is a, within a, you know, a micro trend. This is a bull market micro trend. Uh, Bitcoin is going absolutely ham at the moment and it's causing other coins to go ham. Like EOS, oh, right now, as we speak, EOS just broke through major resistance or is at least getting into it. Holy crap, EOS, EOS, if EOS breaks this, I think, which, which it might be doing right now, and, and also, too, EOS is doing the same thing, too, by the way, so we got another two, three weeks of this, EOS is probably going to be, like, up here somewhere, it's going to be probably up in the eight, eight dollar range, I don't know, I mean, it's going to be doing this for a long time, look, at the last time it did this, okay, so it, it tops off, the yellow line comes in, and then they mingle, they didn't immediately dump. That's the right here. That's the indicator, right? As soon as they touched, they dump, right? Nope, that's not what happened. So what is it doing? It's going, wee, I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going up even more. Oh, no, I came down slightly, which, look, that looks the same as this. And then it does it again. Got another leg up. Looks like it's got another leg up. It's got at least one more leg up. So how, how big is that leg going to be? I don't know. I mean, as far as I can tell, whenever this pattern breaks uh, appears, uh, Ethereum's doing the same thing. Um, look at this one. Like Ethereum had a crazy one, because it was just like, we I'm mingling, I'm mingling. Oh God, guys, I'm coming down. It's probably going to be really serious. And then the price action was shit, and everyone saw it. Like everyone saw that the price action was shit, <laughs> and then it crossed again. It was just like, okay, we we're going up again. Like you know that that uh, Bitcoin in a cart ride. Like a, like a roller coaster ride thing, because that's exactly what this was. Look at this shit. Look at that. It it gets up. It didn't immediately dump. 
if it immediately dumps, then you know right away, right? But in this particular case, it was just like, I guess as soon as people saw this other cross, as soon as this cross happened, it was just like, oh, hey guys, it's crossing again. And then, boom, they just went right back up and, and then immediately dumped, right? See? So it played out two different patterns. It played out the pattern we're currently experiencing first, and then it started to dump. And then it played out a regular pattern where it immediately dumped as soon as it happened. Right? So anytime... So I guess the one thing that's actually useful out of all of this, as far as I can tell right now, is that... Um, sheesh. If it doesn't dump right away, then you probably got another week at least another week minimum of just bullish action before it decides to fucking dump. Like, it almost never doesn't happen this way. So, like, okay, so, boom, okay. It's like, boom, and you get the next week, it was sideways, and then it dumped. Here's the weird thing, though. There was, like, a, a divergence. I mean, this is Dogecoin, though. One of the weird things, though, about Dogecoin is that it's not a good sign when Dogecoin pumps because Dogecoin... Dogecoin is viewed as a, uh, a stable coin for a lot of old school uh, crypto enthusiasts, and that usually means that they're preparing. This is how they uh, they, they hide their wealth a little bit from the uh, from the bigger price action, I guess, so to speak. Um, but you know, we have like tons of stable coins and shit these days. But like for people, you know, for people who are still using coins that don't actually have stable coins like in, inherently in them, <clears throat> you know, Ethereum. And, EOS are kind of good about that kind of shit, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's kind of nice when, the, you know, the coins that you're invested in have stable coins natively. But, uh, you know, go ahead, guys. Uh, just use Dogecoin instead. Because um, you're too salty to, like, get get into an actual coin. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very uh, very bullish in coins that, uh, that actually handle smart contracts and stuff. Anyway, uh... I don't think anyone should be shorting. Like shorts are up 10% right now, and in my opinion, I don't think anyone should be shorting this. That's just me, though. I'm thinking that I'm thinking this shit's going up for a while. And we got one, two, three. We're gonna be somewhere. We're gonna be in mid-April, right after tax season, just to really, you know, drill it in on people. <laughs> we're gonna. Probably it'll probably dump like on April eighth to really like just totally fuck over everyone who's doing their taxes, and then um and then <laughs> and then it'll end up like in oversold in somewhere in May or something like that, right? And but you know who knows what the price action is gonna be? But at this point in time, yeah, this ain't done yet, guys. This is not done. And what is EOS doing? EOS is just beelining for six dollars at the moment. EOS is breaking support, so I mean this is good for me. But um, yeah, and I can I already feel like just going off of this, we we're probably we got what one, two, three, four, five, five weeks, five more weeks on top of what's already here. So it's gonna be like up here somewhere. God, no, there's no way. If this shit, you know what, actually, come to think about it, if you look at it on the monthly, EOS looks like it's, uh, yeah, full bull mode. There's no fucking way, guys. There's no way. There's no way we're actually experiencing a bull market right now. I'm, I'm still in disbelief. But it looks like it. It looks like it. And it's on some... some fairly particularly strange coins well uh i don't I believe it i don't believe it <laughs> I'm, I'm in denial <laughs> um here, here look at this though it's bitcoin bitcoin's gonna be hitting 6k yeah this rally is going because of how long it's going to take for it to get up to the top how long this pattern plays out we got two or three more weeks of this shit Is the dump going to be epic? Uh, I don't know. I mean, if we go back through previous examples, um, 
There really isn't any. Because none of this none of this shit happened the same way. I mean, this could be the false bottom that we already had right here, right? And then this is capit this is true capitulation. And that's what everybody's sort of depending on, right? And we did end up having like a really big, you know, uh, shooting star or whatever the hell that thing is, right? Right here. Well, look where it took place. Like, I don't know. It, it doesn't... It, at this point in time, the weekly stochastic isn't even being an effective tool. Because during this phase, like, nothing, nothing played out in such a way where it was... I don't know, man. Maybe I shouldn't be depending on, you know, uh, just the stochastic or the regular RSI or whatever, but um, just looking at this right now, yeah, it looks like we're doing this shit right here. That's it. That's what we look. That's what it looks like we're doing. So this is going to be going on for like three more weeks. Just green candles, nonstop. If EOS gets over six dollars, oh my god! Like, are you fucking serious? That's like it's gonna be. Oh my god! This particular pattern may play out long enough for a lot of coins to reach all-time highs. I'm not even kidding. Or at least get close. Reach some really wacky highs. Alright guys. Um, yeah. Uh, be careful. <laughs> this is definitely a fake out. I'm still bearish. But I'm just looking at this and I'm like. The pattern that's currently playing out right now. Is this shit. Right? It's happening for Bitcoin. It's happening for everything else. It's happening for Ethereum. Ethereum is doing some other weird stuff too. But, you know, Ethereum has done this in the past before. That would be this pattern right here. If it doesn't immediately dump as soon as they touch on the stochastic, then you know you got at least one more week or two weeks or three or four of just whatever the fuck, of what the fuck. You know, you just hold on, just hodl until the shit dumps, until the shit goes, you know, down here or something. And then you're you're so in the green, it's ridiculous. I don't know. I mean, just <laughs> just take profit constantly. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'm looking at this, and it's just crazy. This pump, the pump that's currently happening right now, I don't think anyone should be shorting this. Shorts are way up, but well, I mean, they're not really way up. But no, yeah, yeah. Careful, guys. Careful. <laughs> A lot of people shorten right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think the longs are going to win this one. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Bitcoin's definitely. I'm thinking 5,800, uh, and uh, I'll make another video.